some politicians think that um, that they work for themselves. They work for the people who, who elected them. A Hamilton County judge says text messages sent between five Cincinnati City Council members will be released. This is part of a lawsuit claiming the group texts broke the law. And good afternoon once again, everyone. Judge Robert Ruhlman ruled during a hearing on the lawsuit. Yeah, the so-called Gang of Five hired an army of lawyers to try to keep those messages under wraps. Anjanette Levy is here to explain exactly what happened here today. Anjanette? Well, Kyle, Cincinnati City Charter says meetings among a majority of council members must be public. Attorney Brian Shrive says the self-proclaimed Gang of Five broke meetings laws when they started texting each other about city business earlier this year. Ten lawyers crowded Judge Ruhlman's courtroom to argue about text messages. The Gang of Five, Council Members P.G. Sittenfeld, Chris Seelbach, Tamaya Denard, Wendell Young and Greg Landsman hired the lawyers to keep the messages secret. City business and more was discussed on the text messages, including how to protect City Manager Harry Black from being fired. This is a fishing expedition to do an open meetings audit. I would take plaintiff at their word. That's exactly what they're doing here. Last Friday afternoon, the Gang of Five released some of those messages to only a couple of reporters, claiming they were turning over what was required for the lawsuit. Attorney Brian Shrive said it was a maneuver that failed. Their clients have shown that they are unable to be trusted to respond to discovery when they recently released these, these text messages at the, you know, in these Friday document dumps. A friend of the Gang of Five, Derek Bauman, tried to intervene in the lawsuit, claiming Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman violated open meetings laws by texting about city business. Smitherman's lawyer disagreed. It's more of a philosophical back and forth with one other council member. We would submit that judge under the Ohio Public Meetings Act, that isn't even close to a public meeting. Judge Ruhlman agreed and said that Smitherman would not become part of the lawsuit. The city also tried to limit the texts that would be turned over. All communications between any two council members from January 1 to April 1 that you right now can say that is absolutely too broad. In the end, Judge Ruhlman said all of the text messages should be released to Attorney Shrive. Um, when, you, when you get elected to an office, I think some politicians think that, um, that they work for themselves. They work for the people who, who elected them. And, uh, uh, although some of these things might be embarrassing, I, I, I think they should be released and I'll decide then whether or not it'll be introduced into, into evidence. Now, Brian Shrive was also requesting text messages sent between just two council members. The attorneys for the city and the council members, as you heard, tried to keep those from being turned over as well. But Judge Ruhlman said they would also have to be turned over. The taxpayers are footing the bill for some of these lawyers. Kyle. All right, Anjanette, thank you so much for that update tonight. We should note here that Local 12 News requested these text messages several months ago, but so far we haven't even received a response to our open records request, so we're pursuing the text messages through the proper legal channels right now.